When it comes to dependable service and labor-saving advantages, it's hard to beat CFG's tub shower products. CFG's hard-wearing dimension pressure balancing valves are available in volume control or cycling design. And you can switch from one to the other simply by replacing the cartridge. However, we'll base this installation on CFG's pressure balancing cycling valve with optional check stops. CFG's pressure balancing technology prevents shower shock. No more hot and cold surges when someone turns on the dishwasher or flushes the toilet. The optional shutoff stops let you turn off the water right at the valve, so servicing the valve is easy and convenient. And the cycling control means that the valve turns on and off in the cold position and cycles counterclockwise toward the hot side until the desired temperature is reached. We'll finish the job with our cornerstone tub shower trim and chrome finish. So let's get started. If you're installing the plumbing at this time, the measurements you need are shown in the installation drawings that accompany each valve. You may also want to install a support brace for the valve. A 2x4 secured to the adjacent stud would serve the purpose. The top of the support should be 2 inches below the center of the valve. All CFG dimension valves have a heavy-duty ceramic disc cartridge installed before leaving our factory. Every dimension valve ships with a plaster ground and breakaway guard cone, and it's designed to accommodate finished walls up to 2 inches thick. Notice that the plaster ground also indicates correct positioning for thick or thin wall installations. For a thin wall installation, walls that might be finished with fiberglass or laminate materials, the valve should be mounted so the face of the ground is flush with the back of the wall, and it will stay in place when the valve is installed. For this thick wall demonstration, as you might expect with ceramic tile, the ground should be flush with the finished wall, but discard the ground before the trim is installed. The valve casting has the word up printed on it. Be sure this stays in the up position when you install it. One of the great features of many CFG pressure balancing valves is that they adapt to both IPS and CC installations. For this CC installation, solder the valve's bottom outlet to the tub drop and the top outlet to the shower riser. If the valve is only used for a tub filler or a shower, you can plug the unused outlet. Repeat these steps for the hot and cold supply lines. CFG also offers a pressure balancing tub shower four port valve with PEX adapted inlets, a PEX adapted shower outlet, and a copper top L. For these installations, crimp should be made using standard crimp rings with a crimp tool certified by CSA for half inch PEX tubing. This time saving installation is ideal wherever PEX tubing is specified. When the valve has been roughed into position, Remove the plastic ground, exposing the cartridge assembly. If this was a thin wall installation, you would simply remove the breakaway nose cone, leaving the plaster ground intact behind the wall. This is a good time to flush the valve. Turn the handle dome counterclockwise and remove it. Use a wrench to release the nut that holds the cartridge in position and pull the cartridge directly out of the valve body. Turn the water supply back on and flush the valve for at least 15 seconds, first with hot water, then with cold, to make sure that there's no line debris that could damage the cartridge or impact the valve's performance. Turn the water back off when you're done. To replace the cartridge, line up the pin at the top of the cartridge with the female opening on the top of the valve and push it back into place. It's important to mention that if back-to-back -back installations are needed, CFG's pressure balancing cycling valve is engineered to let you easily reverse the hot-cold supplies. Simply turn the cartridge 180 degrees and reinstall it with the pin inserted into the opening at the bottom of the valve. When you're ready to continue installing the trim, secure the cartridge with the hex nut, screw on the handle dome, and you're ready for the shower trim. Wrap thread seal tape around both ends of the shower arm and screw the short end into the wall. Assuming the wall is finished, slip on the flange and press it in place. Then simply screw on the shower head. The cornerstone slip fit tub spout is just as easy. The tub spout lookout must be at least one and a half inches and no more than two and seven eighths inches in length. Chamfer the outside edge to be sure it's free of burrs that could damage the seal inside the spout. Slide the spout onto the lookout and tighten the set screw with a 532nd Allen wrench until it's secure. Be careful not to over tighten. For additional sealing, add a bead of caulk between the edge of the tub spout and the wall. 
The valve trim is next. The chrome-plated brass escutcheon features two rubber gaskets to protect against leaks, so you don't have to bother with a mess of putty to ensure a good seal. Slide the escutcheon over the valve. Use the two screws provided to secure it and turn the water back on. Thanks to CFG's polycarbonate overlays, the red and blue temperature markings won't wear off, even after years of use. Hold the lever handle in the 6 o'clock position and slide it onto the valve. Turn the handle counterclockwise to the 1 o'clock position to test the water temperature. If the water temperature is less than 120 degrees, you will not need to make any further adjustment. But if the water temperature exceeds 120 degrees, it is your responsibility to reset the temperature limit stop on the valve. Turn the handle to lower the water temperature to 120 degrees, then remove the handle. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove the temperature limit stop ring located on the outer rim of the cartridge stem. Turn the limit stop ring counterclockwise until the tab on the ring lines up with the corresponding tab on the cartridge. Reinsert the limit stop at the desired hot position and turn the cartridge stem to the off position. Then slip the cartridge hub and lever handle back onto the cartridge stem in the 6 o'clock position. Secure it from underneath the hub using a 332nd Allen wrench. Your job is finished. Check to make sure that everything is operating properly and that there are no leaks. CFG products are not only reliable, they're ADA compliant and designed to save you time and money during installation. Customer satisfaction and quality engineering. It's what you expect from CFG.